Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, I'm going to tell you what is a decibel and what is difference between dB and dBm. So first of all, we will start with decibel. What is a decibel? Decibel is a logarithmic unit in which you compare two different uh, physical quantities. Usually it is used for power levels. For example, you can compare signal received with a signal reference received level or you can also compare signal level with the noise power level, right? So usually power levels are uh, compared. And when we say compare comparison, so we usually calculate a ratio between two different power levels, right? For example, there is a power level which is being received and there is a reference level, uh, which can be said power reference, right? So the ratio is taken and we, when we know that we are taking the, the ratio of two uh, same physical quantities or uh, quantities having same units, so their units will be cancelled. So it's kind of unit less quantity. And then we take uh, logarithmic uh, logarithm of that particular physical quantity and multiply it by 10. So this is called decibel, right? So uh, the decibel, since it is a logarithmic quantity, so uh, its addition and subtraction becomes quite easier because you can apply all logarithmic laws on is this specific uh, ratio of physical quantities. Furthermore, now let's come to the point, what is difference between dB and dBm? Right. So one thing is called dB and other is called dBm. So for dB, I have uh, shown the formula. Uh, there is a specific power which is being divided with the help of power is reference level. Uh, so power reference could be uh, in any unit, right? It could be a uh, simple watt or it could be milliwatt. So this is the key difference between dB and dBm. Whenever uh, reference power is taken in the unit of watt, then we call it dB or dB watt, right? Uh, usually watt is omitted. So that is why uh, D, uh, it is considered only simple dB. Uh, but if your reference power was taken in uh, milliwatt, so uh, then you can call it dBm watt or simply dBm, right? So we will be providing an example. For example, let's say I want to calculate uh, the dB value for power five watt, right? And if I take the reference uh, of uh, simply watt, so if you use this formula, uh, 10 log P over P reference. So since we are talking about simple dB, so what is going to happen? Five watt will be divided by what? One watt since uh, we are talking about dB. So reference uh, power would reference uh, power unit would be simply watt. So five over one watt, watt, watt will get canceled and we will apply 10 log of it. So if you are going to calculate, it will become around 6.98 and uh, you can use the unit simple dB, right? So this is what the dB. If I want to consider the same thing in dBm, what is going to happen? First of all, we need to take the reference level uh, to the milliwatt. Since we are going to use the reference level milliwatt, we have to convert this unit into watt. So the given power, which was five watt, it could be converted into milliwatt and it will become what? 5,000 milliwatt. It's quite easy sum. We know that every, uh, every one watt is equal to 1,000 milliwatt. So five watt is simply 5,000 milliwatt, right? So if I'm going to use the same formula, what is uh, what will be the value 5000 milliwatt and i'm going to refer it or going to be reference power as 1 milliwatt so that these units can be cancelled so uh, last time the reference unit was 1 watt and this time the reference unit is 1 milliwatt so 1 milliwatt and 1 milliwatt get cancelled furthermore you are going to apply the same formula 10 of log right and you know that once you are going to uh, evaluate the value, 10 log of this thing, this it will become around 36.98. It is point decimal point 36.98. And since it was a reference level which was used in the unit was milliwatt, so you will be uh, calling it dBm or simply dBm watt, right? Since I already told you that the values watt is emitted, so it is called dBm. So this is the key difference between dB and dBm. 
uh, one thing more a very cre- uh, a very uh, interesting fact you know that the value in the vault was 6.98 and the value in the dbm is 36.98 dbm uh, and the value uh, for which these values are calculated or these different units are evaluated is 5000 watt oh, sorry 5000 milliwatt or 5 watt which is both are equal right so uh, that is that actually translates the uh, formula or formulation of uh, dbm to db or db to dbm right so what is the difference you know that, that db value is what 36.98 and dbm value is what uh, 36.98 so the difference is what 30 right so that is why the very generalized uh, relation known between these two units is that if you want to convert a db value into dbm so dbm will be equal to what you have to add simply 30 into db value and this formula can be interchanged to find the other quantity if other one is known right uh, furthermore why this 30 comes it can also be evaluated or this relationship can also be confirmed using the logarithmic laws because you know that it is 5 into uh, 10 power 3 and when that 3 comes out of the log it eventually multiply with this 10. So that is why this 30 factor comes up. But for generally known formula, you can simply say that I let me highlight it again for you. Uh, the formula is uh, you need to uh, add 30 into dB or you need to subtract 30 from dBm value to evaluate the dB value. So I hope th this video tutorial help you to learn about DB and their interconvergence between DB and DBM. And still, if you have any confusion or query, you can post your queries in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.